So we built this thing and I'm hooked. I need something faster and better than this. I'm horrible at pre-planning. So we have a 125cc engine in there and we have a 1000cc engine over there. And I'm not sure which one I wanna build. I even sat here for an hour doodling like an idiot trying to figure out some specs. And you know what? I'm just horrible at pre-planning. So I'm gonna start laying out some pipe because I can't actually picture things in my head. And then we'll decide what engine we wanna use after. Typical Kyle. I'm not even sure if it's gonna fit over here. Sweet, I know exactly what I'm gonna design by looking at this one piece of plate. Not to mention our bench is a little bit too small, huh? Piece one, it doesn't look like much, but this is a thing. This actually took way longer than anticipated to square up on my tail, but this is our basic design of, this is where you're going to sit basically, and then we're gonna build an attachment on the back of this to house the engine and like the rear swing arms and stuff like that. And then this is like, you sit up and your feet go up. The pedals are gonna be somewhere in this area, depending on how long you are. And that's gonna be like the front nose cone area with the wing on it. And then the A-arms are gonna attach somewhere here. Very rough, but I don't know, I'm just kind of going off the design in my head of kind of what a Formula One car looks like. Now I built this little bridge piece. I did have to re-notch it this way because it was notched this way. Probably gonna build a similar one in the front up here, possibly a little bit shorter just to give it like a little bit of a swoop down look. And then before I weld the bar in that goes from this one to this one, I'm actually gonna have to make the bracing in the middle. Once that bar is in, I won't be able to get the vertical piece from here to here and I don't think. Make a piece of pipe to go from over there to over here now. And I wanted to have the tube uh, like this one where you can see the hole here because eventually I might be able to put like something in there that's threaded. Then I'll, we'll have a threaded spot on all four points in the front and might be able to put like a, an aluminum plate or something in the front up here. So I was a little bit of forethought into it and then not a lot of afterthought. Now, let me just hop up in here and we'll get a little bit better idea of what's going on because really without me in there, there's no real context of it. So, I got my headphones on so it's okay. Basically in front of this where my feet are, uh, either pedal box assembly stuff or like suspension stuff. So uh, I needed a bit of space in front of there and then a nose cone in front of that. Um, this is what's gonna house the bearing for the steering wheel. Um, this is where the firewall is going to start and I might tip it back a little bit more um, so I can sit backwards a little bit. It's just kind of like an F1 car. And this is going to join up to the firewall behind me so this is going to get tubed in and then we're going to cross brace almost everything the whole way through. So we have like the structure made. Now we've got to start making our webbing in here so we're going to put another tube somewhere in here. These two tubes are going to house the suspension arms for the front. So we need a tube from here to here and then some bracing to go from like here to up here and then here to down here or something like that. I don't know, building a bridge. I don't know how to build bridges. I want to build a bar from like here to here. But the only thing is I can't 
I wouldn't be able to fit that in there if I welded this one in place and I welded this one in place. So I've got to build all my structure before it gets welded in place because I need a way to slip the bars in and then cap them up. Um, and then the second problem is trying to find how I'm going to notch this because I have no experience with like two notches on an angle. Well, it definitely took a little bit of time to figure out like the angles and the cuts that I needed to make and obviously and then when I made this bar I actually made it from this point to this point so it was a little bit off because there is a little bit of a slope to the top so I just cut it down a little tiny bit fits in there great now we just got to do the other side and then um, the front and the bottom and just box this complete part in and then the thing we'll start after that is actually the rear main hoop structure um, for the firewall and like the rollover bar and then we can join that big hoop into this piece and then we can build the engine compartment after that. And there we go, we got our parallel bars made. This side actually coped up, once I knew what I was doing, it coped up a lot better. I'm glad I started a project like this or I would have never learned the skills to be able to get all three of these to join that one point. So, so if you feel a little bit out of your comfort zone, just try it. Who knows what you can do? Uh, I never, I didn't think I could build something like this. You don't know until you try. All right, we've got this piece right here. We're gonna put it in the bender. We're gonna attempt to make the main hoop. I wanna have one curvature at the top, uh, come down, a one bend into the bottom, one bend into the bottom. And I'm not the best at maths, so I'm just gonna try and wing it. And if uh, that doesn't work, this was $6 a foot at eight feet. You do the math, that's like 93 bucks. All right, moment of truth, I guess. See if it lands. Mm. It's a little bit off, but that's because spring back in the pipe, but that's gonna be good enough because I'll be able to ratchet strap that in because you can just bend the bottom part in a little bit, as you can see. But this peak right here, I wanna have 37 inches to the top of it. That gives me enough room to lean back and put a seat in it and put a helmet on and be below that bar. So I want to make it obviously as low as I possibly can. Well, there's our main hoop. I think I'm going to jump in there and see just how high that is. Um, we might be able to make that a little bit shorter, I think. It looks a little bit on the high side. It makes it a little bit difficult building off a bench that's two by three feet, but it's all I got, so that's what I'm going to use. Let's see if we can even get in here without dropping that thing. Something like this. I have to go forward a little bit, but then there's going to be a seat and my helmet, so that's probably right around the right height, to be honest. It just looks so tall when we're up here on the uh, the table, but I bet if we put that on the floor, it doesn't look tall at all. Uh, so what I did was I'm starting to make the bar that go from here to here. I wanted to swoop up in it, so I made it like this, a little bend upwards, and now we got to cope it right here. All 
Safe to say this hole saw owes me nothing so far. I've spent more in actual hole saws than I have in this rig. The bearings are definitely getting kind of loose in this thing. I don't know where to get replacement bearings for it or bushings or whatever they are. But like I said, it's been off a little bit up and down on the copes just because the drill can do this when it's going in and it's slowly getting worse. So I am gonna have to replace this at some point. I wish I could just get the bushings that go in here because I would just replace a bunch of those all the time because it, it works fine other than that, other than it's very basic, but it works. Only hit myself in the face a couple times with it so far. Just like that. And I usually take it over to the belt sander. And then I get rid of the weak little peak points because if you leave it just the way it was coped, um, the edges are really, really thin and when you try and weld them, they just blow away. So you kind of round the edges off anyways. And then something like this should fit in there. I can just cope this side a little bit with the, uh, the grinder. A little bit of a gap on the top side, but It's starting to come along, man. Considering what it was, I guess. Just thinking about how I'm doing this right now, I think we're gonna have one issue if I do it like this. Um, let me just put this on here to hold that as well. I think we're gonna have one issue if we do it this way, and that is if I sit in here, and then back. Okay, I can still see over it. I thought I wouldn't be able to see over this bar. I, my initial plan was to have it dip right here and then come back up to meet with the hoop. I still might do that. It just means I gotta remake this bar again, which I'm not against. And here's attempt number two. I hope it fits, actually. Oh my God, look butter. Don't even know to hold it up. I am so glad I redesigned that. That looks so much better. I like the little kink here. If you look at a Formula One car, the nose kind of comes up and then it drops back down for the driver's compartment. And then I put this little kink back up just to give us some support in that main hoop. I'm gonna brace it in between here and stuff, but I like that little kink much better. And then it passes like exactly where my arm is. So it's still above my arm. It like follows the path of my shoulder. Um, I will be up probably another actually a little bit with the uh, seat, but I'm planning on actually sitting a bit more. I can't sit right here because the ratchet straps right here, but a bit more forward and a bit more leaned back actually. So I think we're gonna be good with this bar. This is gonna be stupid. I love it. All right, if you like part one of the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because part two is gonna come up. And this is me telling you, just start building something. I'm moving away from what I think is gonna do good on the internet to just doing what I wanna do and having fun. Peace easy, get that V.